The tamping cradle is a place where you're going to tamp coffee after you've dosed the porta filter. The basic idea is that you're going to put the porta filter in like so, and then you're going to tamp from above. Now, the idea behind this is that if you have a double spouted porta filter like this, you'll notice that it's rounded here. And what that means is that if you go here and you tamp, you're actually pushing and you're going to slide. So it's first of all hard to get this leverage here to be actually level and then to be level here. But also as you push down, you're risking slamming in like that and hurting yourself. So two goals here for the tamping cradle. When you lock this in here, no matter what you do, you can jump on it like so. The more you press on it, the more it actually pushes in because it's a gentle curve inwards. So instead of pushing out, it pushes in and locks in. The other thing is it's very easy to maintain a flat level tamp with this. So here I go, I put the tamper on, I push down and I tamp. Now if you have a normal bottomless porta filter like this, it actually locks in perfectly and is completely level. It's quite easy to tamp and you'll see me doing that in lots of videos. Next thing you might want to do with this is that it allows you to hold the porta filter in place when you use a funnel. So when I do that, I can now dose into a milk jug the grounds into the porta filter and I'll be sure that they're level. And if you were to pour grounds in here, they would come in at an angle. The bottom of the tamping cradle is made out of silicone and the idea is it does not move. You can really shake it hard. Now, if you really want to lock it down, you can actually take the silicone off and inside the metal here are holes and you can drill it into your countertop. And there are some cafes that have done that in order to standardize their procedure. The second size here is for people who have a 53 millimeter tamper. This is a 58 millimeter tamper and they can use this shape here to tamp with. In my case, I use the smaller side to put the tamper and then I tamp here like so. I usually keep things all tidy by putting the funnel inside there and that makes a nice station. Now let me go ahead and grind some coffee and you'll see how this works. Finally I'll put it in here and simply push down, lean it back and put it back. So that's how I use a tamping cradle with a bottomless porta filter. With a double spouted porta filter the routine is much the same. There's my mound. I'm going to correct the round a little bit by letting it crumble and tapping along the sides. And then I put it into the tamping cradle, put the tamper like so, push down, lean back, put it back. Give it a little brush in case there were any grounds on the top. That's what my puck now looks like. It's ready to be made. I hope this little demonstration of the decent tamping cradle that I invented was useful. If you find that you're not tamping in the most even way or you want to dose from something else, I think you'll find the tamping cradle to be quite useful and I hope you'll give it a try.